Hi everybody, Leslie's Hands here. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make my posable wings. These wings are great to use on polymer clay sculptures, mixed media. You can make them at any size, so they're great for dress up or costumes. Butterflies, fairies, dragons, any kind of thing with wings, they'll be great for. These are two of the characters I've made, a rose fairy and a little sprite, and I use these wings on these characters. So what you're gonna need is wire, and then I use some of this floral wire. I like this gauge, it's kind of stiff wire, but it's also very pliable. Mod Podge tool, this is kind of a small, as in like not very wide. You can use large pieces of tool as well for if you're using wings for costume. Scissors, different types of pliers, wire cutters, paintbrush, and you're gonna need paint as well if you decide to use paint in the end. Now to decide on the type of wings we wanna make. So if you're making a fairy or butterfly style wings, you're gonna want probably four pieces of wire. I like to have longer wings on the top and shorter wings on the bottom. You can add any amounts of wire at this time if you wanna make extra wings on your creature or you're making some crazy dragon with multiple wings or some crazy monster with multiple wings. So for those who are making a polymer sculpture, you're gonna to wanna to add the wire to your armature before you add clay because this makes it easy to add the wings in the end. It's really hard to add wings to a already baked polymer clay sculpture. But if you have the wires all ready to go, you're all set. The wings will have a good attachment to your piece. I am making what I call like a traditional fairy or butterfly style wings, where the upper wings are larger than the lower wings. I make equal lengths of wire for each wing. And then those equal lengths I'm crisscrossing or making into an X. There's my upper wings. And here's an X for my lower wings. So if you're doing the armature for your problem with clay sculpture, you're gonna attach your wings to your armature just by twisting them around. Just give it a good hold. So however you wanna twist them around your armature, go ahead and do that now. I just kind of twist them around the whole body and then I'm adding the lower wings and twisting those around the armature body as well. You want them in the place where your wings are gonna come out of the body. For those making a polymer clay sculpture, you're gonna to wanna to add a piece of polymer clay to the area where your wings are to secure it in place and do a pre-bake. For those who are just making the wings as is for a costume or whatnot or a mixed media piece, this is where you would start your project. For those making a polymer clay sculpture, Finish your sculpture piece. Just move the wires out of the way as needed. Once your sculpture is finished and had its final bake, you do not want to bake these wings. They will melt or burn. They are not made to go in the oven. If you have your separated wing pieces, twist those two wing pieces together to connect them. If you're working from a polymer or clay piece, you do not have to twist the wings together because they're already connected to your clay piece. All right, shape those wings into the desired shape you want by twisting the ends together. Then do the same thing for each wing. Twist those ends together 
and then snip those ends off and watch those pieces go flying to the unknown. You'll find those pieces later. Ouch! From here, the process is the same, no matter if you're making a polymer clay sculpture piece or a detached wings for another project. Make sure your wings are the shape you want them, then grab your tool, cut it to size. You're gonna do each wing by itself. Cut out two pieces of tool for each wing. You're gonna place a layer of tool underneath the wire, then add your Mod Podge, and then add your Mod Podge, I can never say that word, Mod Podge, all over the tool, wire, everything. Add your second piece of tool, again, smothering with the Mod Podge, and then you're going to trim as needed and place your clips. You can use binder clips, clothes pins, wood clamping clips. The clamping process is a little cumbersome, so just take your time. It's gonna be a little willy-nilly, but it's gonna work out. Just go slowly. Using a blow dryer really helps speed up the process of the glue drying, but you can wait. You can put it aside for a little bit. I work on two wings at a time, allow those to dry, trim off any excess tool around the edge of the wire. Once the first part of the wings are done, I then work on the second part of the wings. You can do it all at once, but I find that the clips and stuff tend to be in the way, so I like to do one section at a time. For the center part of these wings, I just added thin tool around the middle. You can wrap ribbon, anything you like around the middle of this. This is, if you're making large wings, this is where you can add some straps for arms. See how poseable they are? They can be bent into any shape. You can leave the wings just as is and be done. You're done. Or you can add paint if you want them a total different color. I decided I wanted my wings to be a iridescent purple, so I'm using a mixture of a lighter purple, a darker purple, and white. So here's a little painting time lapse for you. There's my wings. I hope you guys can find this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Check out my socks. Okay, bye.